I decided I'm going to do a 30 day Linux challenge. Stay tuned. Yo, what's going on everyone? This is Zach with IT Career Questions. Today, I'm gonna to tell you guys a story and get into why we're doing a 30 day Linux challenge. But before we begin, I wanna let you guys know that this video is sponsored by IT Pro TV. If you guys are looking to learn Linux, I highly suggest the edutainers over there at IT Pro TV. They have courses over there ranging from beginner lessons to Linux, to the Linux Plus, to how to be a Linux administrator, even Red Hat lessons in Linux. So make sure that you guys go and check them out and use the coupon code ITCQ30 and you guys will get 30% off of your subscription over there. And again, I highly recommend what they're doing over there at IT Pro TV. I've used their material for the last two years and I have nothing but great things to say about them. So getting into today's video, the story goes like this. I was doing some studying last night and as you guys know, I'm going for my Security Plus and I was going through a little bit of hands-on course and doing some different scenarios and I was having trouble remembering some Linux commands that I had learned, you know, not even six months ago. And that really frustrated me. Like I was actually really frustrated with myself at that point. And I decided I was going to put Linux on my MacBook. Like I just had it, I had enough of it. Linux was going on my MacBook and I was gonna use Linux from here on out. Like that was it. So I went and did my research and Ubuntu GNOME was the most recommended distribution for MacBooks. Now, I should have done a little bit more uh, research because I would have ran into the problem that I ended up having, but I ended up going through the process of trying to install Ubuntu on here and it did work. However, the mouse didn't work, the keyboard didn't work, the Wi-Fi didn't work. So it turns out that the 2017 model of the MacBook Pro does have a lot of different issues when it comes to installing Linux natively onto the machine. So instead of going through all the time in the process of getting it to work, because quite frankly, I was spending too much time on it. And honestly, I, I goofed up because uh, going through the process a few times, trying different things to get it to work, I accidentally deleted the partition that contained the Mac OS. And at that point, I was just so frustrated that I just gave up. I said, forget it. I don't want you anymore, MacBook. I'm not going to touch you. Uh, so I went out and I spent like $300 on a new Acer uh, laptop. That's an Acer Swift One. And made sure that I did all the research that I could to make sure that Linux was going to work on this laptop. And I'm happy to say that it does work. Everything works as it should, as intended, which I'm very, very happy about. So the point of this is I'm going to use this as my daily driver. I haven't even put the Mac OS back on this MacBook because I don't want I, I don't want to have that ability to use it. As you guys can imagine, I do a lot of video editing and things like that. I'm still gonna have my main Windows workstation that that's really the only thing that this machine is used for is doing editing, like that's it. That's the only time I ever use that machine. Otherwise, I, I was always using my MacBook for everything, like all my studying, um, anytime I need to get on and do like any types of research or I'm putting together documents, everything was done on my MacBook. Well. Everything that I did on my MacBook, I could do on this thing. For the next 30 days, you guys are gonna hear from me on my progress on using Linux, literally like 99% of the time. So I'm gonna to try to use the command line to do many of the installations that need to be done, uh, adjust many of the settings that need to be done. I'll start creating users on this computer, testing that out, adding different writes to different folders, you know, creating documents from the command line really trying to gain a better understanding of some of the fundamentals of Linux, because I know how important it is to learn this operating system as I'm going forward in my career, trying to learn more um, to get into cybersecurity. So that's what I'm doing. This is my goal for the next 30 days. I hope you guys are interested in this. If you are looking to do something similar, I highly suggest you doing this as well. Go along this journey with me because it's going to be a lot of fun. If you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns, make sure you guys hit me up in the comments below and make sure you guys check out IT Pro TV in the description below as well. As always, take it easy.